tell you what, that piss is looking better and better every time you do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the end of the show, I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna piss for you. <laughs> I'll send you my piss too. How's that sound? I don't think it works like that. That guy didn't <laughs> no. say that. <laughs> I think you're saying like your your body suck. gives you your piss gives you what you're missing from your. Body. Oh, don't <laughs> don't drink other people's piss. He didn't put that. In. He should. I mean, he should specifically say that. Do you have a bathroom? I have to piss so bad. We're at Werewolf right now. We're all sitting here, and D and David were over here too. And this guy came up to our table and was like, "Hey guys." I have a proposition for you guys. Can you guys come over here? And Dee and Dave were like, nah, man. He's like, it's about money. So they're over there right now. And all we keep hearing is like words like, you know, strap on and dildo and shit like that. So we don't know what's happening over there right now. We're talking about Natty Ice. Natty Ice. Uh, uh, we should open up the baggie. There's a weird whistling noise. I can have the wind blows. Here they are over there talking to the guy. suck Whew. let's get it hey everybody welcome to another episode of the godspeed podcast i am one of your hosts joe guy i am dan eats everything and we got another guest today this is dave hello <laughs> hey dave hello. <laughs> brr, brr, brr. it's dave he he opened a drink <laughs> after i said his name did he he stole your shit you son of a bitch. He watches the show. Yep. I'm a su- subscriber. <laughs> He's really not this awkward. <laughs> so this is your first, this is your guys' first time meeting. We're having a subscriber on. So subscribers, if you ever want to join the show, just hit Joe up and you go to his house. That's exactly what we did. Mm-hmm. Totally. I didn't know him prior. Yes. <laughs> So what are we talking Thank you about for today? Me on. Sleep? I'm talking about taking naps. Oh, you're gonna take a nap? Now, nah, so uh, today I just compiled a bunch of videos that I thought were interesting, and we're gonna give our opinions on them. And we might not even play them any videos; just shoot the shit. Okay. You know. I'd like to get to know this Dave fella. He looks pretty interesting. Hey, Dave. How are you today? Good. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, so, what are you eating? It's got nuts. You love eating nuts. I think it's an almond joy. Oh, sp- speaking of semen retention, I saw this video. I thought it was funny, so I'm going to play it. We weren't talking about semen retention. We were talking about nuts, but you know what I mean. Same, same, same. thing. Yeah. So this is pretty accurate right here. Mm-hmm. Ready? Are you excited for that to happen, Joe? No comment. Um, (laughs) This is messy. Yes, it's messy. Have you ever seen this picture, Dave? Dee has seen it in the video we did. Uh, Like the flat earth? Like everything else is on the outside? So like the shadows on the moon... Oh, they all are resemble perfect the, for the yeah, continents and 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 It's supposed our to be world. like a reflection, yeah, uh, of our our planet. Our, you seen that? I have seen that. That is kind of crazy, though. What do you think, Dave? I've already asked you. You actually were interested in that theory last. It time. is. It is interesting. It's very very interesting. These pictures are going over great. Uh, so. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this video I thought was actually really funny, but he makes some good points too. I hate the way he talks and and stuff though, because it just who the fuck is that lady on the back? 
Hmm? Just <laughs> rolling out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's dot, bro. Nice. I'm so happy you can't hear the crunch Are those like on the, the actual healthy recording. Cheetos or something? Mm-hmm. Healthy Cheetos? That's not a real. That's no. not a real thing. <laughs> no, they're dots. So you heard of dots pretzels? That's a oh, pretzel. Yeah, yeah, yes. Nice. No, but they make Cheetos. Oh. All right. Well, this guy's pretty funny. Animals are eating animals. You know? Some animals. Um, All the seventy-five percent of animals on this planet are herbivores. But the, it's it's part of our circle of life. No, it's you know? the circle of it's torture like and death. When you see uh, a lion eating a zebra, it's, okay. it's and you're. But I notice like, you okay, have clothes is, on, and I notice that you have a cell phone and you have a computer. It is unfair to pick one thing that lions do that you want to mimic when you don't want to mimic anything else they do. When lions walk up and greet each other, they sniff each other's ass. When I came in this room, you did not kneel down and sniff my ass. Okay, lions sometimes kill their young when they're runts. Okay, if a human being killed their baby because they didn't want him, we arrest them and charge them with murder. Could you go to a courtroom and say, hey, but your honor, lions kill their babies, can't I? It's but it's an unfair, their survivor. It's an unfair comparison. You're not a lion. And just so you know, lions are carnivores. Humans are not. We are herbivores, 100% up and down. You put a two-year-old child in a crib with a bunny rabbit and an apple, let me know when the child eats the bunny rabbit and plays with the apple. We are purely herbivorous. We have no carnivorous or omnivorous instincts whatsoever. And physiologically, if your jaw moves from side to side in a grinding motion and you chew, you're 100% herbivore. If you are a meat eater like a lion, your jaw would only go like this, up and down, rip and swallow. If you sweat through your pores to cool yourself, you're what? herbivore. What? Uh... Do you guys snip each other's asses when you see each other? Usually. Yeah, sometimes. Fuck <laughs> it. Well, you, he's just talking about his Tinder days. Hey, man. So, that, that's why a lot of people don't really get into... Like, how would you... Why would you ever want to listen to the guy like that? He's a fucking asshole. How is he an asshole? Sounds like a prick. Why? He's a kind what of... Was he did say, he what did he sound say? like a prick the whole what time? What did he say that was prickish? Oh, he was definitely a dickhead. There's no, because she used the animals eat animals, so, so what? shouldn't we be eating animals? There's a way, even even though she makes a, she was making an argument, and when somebody makes an argument that you don't like, doesn't mean he has the right Treat to come like off an like an, come off like a douchebag afterwards. When yeah. did he come off like a douchebag though? Everything time. he said was condescending. The way he said it, it's an, all about the tone. Mm -hmm. You know, if uh, if somebody has a softer approach and it's they are more inclined to, to listen. Absolutely. I there's, would hear that, and I'd be, like, ready to fight. There's a, there's a way to deliver information that makes it receptive, and there's a way to make it where people, doesn't no matter what you say, they're going to push back. And they're he, shut down. that was a perfect example. I agree. All he said was, you didn't sniff my ass when I walked in. What else did he say? He didn't say it like that, though. He, he didn't say, you didn't sniff my ass when you walked in, did you? He said, you picked one example. You didn't sit my ass when you walked in. Put a thing here. Yeah. You're saying it way more aggressive than he said it. But that's right. the, that's that's the tone he came off in, man. That being said, right. I, th I thought the whole thing was fucking hilarious. And I think he's right about a lot of that. Yep. Um, yeah. <laughs> I still eat meat, though. I know. I do. If, if I was to pick, a, you know, a, a food, it would definitely be like fruits. And oh, vegetables over meat, because to make a lot of meat taste good, you're actually using spices and other herbs, you know, herbs to actually make the meat taste good. Other than like a prime steak, steak by know, itself, all day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, do you, steak. Do you yeah. have to cook? Do you have you have to cook it though? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. true. We have this cool thing called fire. We use. You okay. gotta get that good. Uh, you have to cook it though, and kill all the shit that's in it. Any crust. nutrients or anything that's in it, you cook it out of you it. You have to cook most vegetables to make them taste good. I don't eat vegetables. I love but vegetables. That was his point. All he said was herbivore. I'm a frugivore, but most people oh, don't use the word frugivore because they don't even know what it is. See, <laughs> <laughs> frugivore. He's fruity. A fruit fruit eater. It's fruity. <laughs> All right, Cheeto.
Earlier I was cream pie, now I'm Cheeto. <laughs> if I'm fruit, if I'm fruit, you're cream pie, bud. Sounds like a disgusting combination. All right, put some, what else you got? Put something else out. <laughs> Let's change the topic. The whole thing is to put the body, challenge yourself. That's why we have these magnificent specimens we call bodies anyway. So when you constantly tricking the body, the body start depending on being tricked and a certain chemistry and certain chemicals that the body produces naturally, it stop producing these things. So if you're using caffeine to get a high electrical workout or high energetic workout, the crash is coming. Anytime you have a stimulant, you know it goes up. ATP is being fired off in the cells. You're getting this burst of energy, but then the mitochondria is getting worn out and you got to make new mitochondria so you know caffeine is bad not only is caffeine bad for the heart but caffeine is bad for the autonomic nervous system caffeine is bad for the actual adrenal glands caffeine is bad for the intrinsic nervous system the caffeine is bad and is very 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 acidic meaning that you away at the nerves and what we have seen heavy caffeine used to do to dementia Alzheimer's disease in the long run I just heard a thing the other day that caffeine was good for the heart who knows what's what these days I like his Every, hat. There's like a thousand different things that someone will say are good for you, and there's a thousand different people telling you those things are bad. Like, who knows what's real and what's not nowadays? I agree, Dave. Oh, you said it was Dave, right? Dave's his name? Yes. Yeah, I agree, I, Dave. Uh, they, there's, they put misleading information out there all the time. Okay, so how come when you roast coffee beans, they produce acrylamide, which is cancer-causing? But it's good for you? How's that? I just had a couple cups of coffee today. I hope I don't get cancer. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the same for carbs and bread and all that. You heat it up, it produces acrylamide. Hmm. That's a fact. So eat your bread cold, is what you're saying. I'm saying... I wouldn't eat it, but mm. if you're going to eat it, you probably don't want to heat it up. Look, they say everything and everything's going to kill us one way or the other. Yeah, that's why I stopped oh. doing everything except for fruit. Because it's it. natural. Cheeto dust. And I've also, I'm the healthiest and <clears throat> in the best shape I've ever been in in my life. When I met you, you were swole. I was fucking 16, 17. Just jacking. <laughs> yes. Well, probably was. Most likely. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get it, David. Get it, David. <laughs> this is about fasting. Trying to fast, but man, I'm struggling. I'm so fast. You got to keep going with it. If you don't keep going uh, with the fast, the reason why it's difficult is because you have to detox the synthetics of what you're eating. That's why you have withdrawals. You get a headache. You're, you're super, super hungry. Like you really, really want to eat. It's because you're feeding an addiction. Why do most vegans look so old? It's because they're doing it wrong. Like me, I'm, I'm thriving. Look at me. I'm glowing. It's because I know what I'm doing. I know the things that they don't want you to know. When you go vegan, most people don't do it correctly. They do it improperly. They're supplementing. Supplementing is the worst thing you can do. You need herbs. And you need to get uh, B12s, and you get B12s from seaweed. But then you also, if, if your body's that deficient and you, you can't, if, if veganism's not working, you're going to have to do urine upcycling. You have to drink your own piss because you need stem cells to repair your body's function. You get that from your own urine. Your own urine knows your body because your body's actually interdependent. I know it sounds crazy. People are like, ew, professional boxers drink their urine. There's a reason why urine therapy's been around for for thousands of years because that's how you vaccinate yourself if you want to vaccinate yourself you piss into a cup and you put it under your tongue for like three minutes and then you swallow it and when you do that it flushes your lymphatic system it really really helps you and the things people don't they can't fathom drinking their own urine i forgot you talked about urine at the <laughs> end there um are you gonna drink your own piss tonight, I, D? I, huh what, what are you gonna be drinking your own urine no no you have issues right now in your body when you pee you'd be cured in the morning time you just gotta drink your own pee isn't your isn't your piss everything your your uh, kidneys flushed out from your, your system that's, that's what they tell you 
That's okay. Watch I've done a lot of research on it because I was thinking about it. But like he said, I can't get past the it's urine thing. I think I'll take a couple shots tonight. You know, see <laughs> how it, it goes. Hold it under Just your for, tongue for three minutes and then swallow. Yep. I'll let you but, do the research tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, what are you saying uh, about the fucking supplements and shit? Like, you can actually <laughs> test out supplements, and you can cook. You can cook, like you can put them on a pan, and if they melt, then they're then they're not. You shouldn't take them. If they like cook, then they're okay. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they add a whole bunch of chemicals and bullshit to everything in our world. That's all it is, is chemicals. And, and fasting is the best thing you could do for your body because you're you're detoxing your body. You're, you're, your body goes into something called autophagy, and it starts eating up all the bad toxins and the bad shit inside of your body and leaving all the clean stuff. So fasting is, like, the best thing you could do. Yeah, no, I, I agree. The there's, a lot, there's a lot of science about that. Also, there was a guy on a raft trapped at sea, and... He did nothing but fast and drink his urine. And when they found him, they said he was glowing and he was in the, he- the healthiest shape he's ever been in. So the news story was that he caught rainwater and fish from a raft with no fishing gear. He just caught fish from his raft in the middle of the fucking ocean. And he was at, he was at sea for months. <laughs> So he was drinking his piss over and over again for yeah. like months? Yeah. Drinking his piss and fasting. Huh. Uh, you, you, you're calling it fasting. You could just say starving. My man yeah, was starving, bro. I was like, <laughs> I don't think I, you had an option. I fasted for two weeks, and I wasn't starving. Bro, well, right, but you had an option. You, your choice was too fast. When there's no food around, it's I- called starving. You no, know, the reason why people starve is because they're not in the correct... For one, they just do fasting after they just got done eating a bag of Cheetos when you actually have to prep your body and go on... on you have to go on living foods like fruits and vegetables and then slowly wean yourself into fasting. That Dude, if I would have just cold turkey just started fasting from what I used to eat, I probably would have starved because my body wasn't prepared too fast. It was still addicted to all the bullshit. There's definitely benefits of it. It's been around for a long time. Most of the things that are around for a long time, they try to hide from us. and For sure. Yeah. They want us all dead. They do. For they sure. want us dead? I think they want us alive. And Slaves. Continue, con, right, there you go. Continuing to run their little fucking program. No. <laughs> Did you see the Georgia Guidestones that said they want less than half, they want less than 500,000 people on this plane? No. Yeah, that's what the Georgia Guidestones said in multiple different languages. And then they blew them up. No, they because there was a hole. It. Huh? They don't even know who did it. Yeah, they don't know who did it. There's a hole in the Georgia Guidestones that you can look through any time of the day and you'd see the North Star. Never moved from that spot. That's just an added bonus to let you know that we're not whirling and trilling and spinning. But we're not going to go into that. Why, Joe? Because you're very against anything I say on that, so we're just not going to talk about it. Mucus. Hit us with another video. Mucus? I don't have that. I don't know if I want to play this <coughs> one. Huh? I don't have mucus. Doesn't sound like it. You don't wake up congested? Huh? You don't the information I'm about to tell you is what got over 30 holistic healers killed in less than a year. Modern medicine is not meant for us. They don't want to cure you. They want to treat you. They want you as a lifetime customer. They are worried more about their profit margins than they are your health. There's a reason why idea. Big Pharma is a multi-trillion dollar industry. The worst thing is they're actually creating the ailments so they can create the remedy for you. Also, they can get paid. More importantly, it's not the sicknesses that they're trying to use against you. It's the element of fear. Fear because you will listen in a state of fear. Fear lowers the subconscious, lowers the frequency of a person, and makes them easier to manipulate. 
You factor that in, all the chemically imbalanced substances that you're eating, not to mention the indoctrination into the school system, they got you. On the most recent study on fasting, which you probably haven't heard about, they found a way to cure everything. Yes, I said everything through fasting. There was three networking groups that went on an island with a bunch of people. You might have heard of this. And there was a bunch of people with diabetes, cancer, AIDS, all kinds of symptoms, all kinds of diseases. There was, I think, around 36 of them. And they just did a water fast, a spring water fast for about 40 days, I think it was, 40 or 50 days. And guess what? By day 18, every single person was testing negative for whatever ailment they went to that island with. And you want to know what happened next? All three of those networking groups got canned and they said, you guys can't publish this because something foreign came in and intervened. Luckily, people that participated are actually speaking out about this, how they were testing positive for whatever it might have been, diabetes, whatever, and it's been over a year and yet they're still testing negative for whatever the ailments they had when they went on that island. So when I cross reference that with the population control agenda on .gov, how it talks about the foods that we're eating are synthetically messed up and strip our body of nutrients, minerals, vitamins, and all of that. And that's why when you go into a grocery store, 90% of everything is dead nutrition, as well as all the vitamins and minerals are all itemized when you can get pretty much everything from plants. And the whole purpose of all of this is we're eating foods that are acidic, that lowers our functions of our organs. So when your organs start to not function the way they're supposed to, that's when all these ailments and all these chronic illnesses start to develop. And that is through acidic based foods. This is why the whole alkaline diet thing is meta. So when you think about it, if you stack minerals and you eat clean foods, all natural foods, not packaged synthetic shit, your body will fix itself. You can repair your organs and rebalance the pH level of your organs, not your blood, your organs. One quick Google and you can literally see how to optimize an organ. It's meant to be done with minerals which is why I stack alkaline tea, which has every single mineral the body needs. And because I believe that every illness is man-made, this pushes pathogens out of your body. A pathogen is an organism that can turn into a virus when it consumes mu mucus. Yeah. So you're saying all this mucus that I'm waking up with uh, is, is going to turn into mm -hmm. cancer? Remember when Dr. Sebi said that there's only <clears throat> one disease and that's mucus? Yeah. And he won in court, Supreme Court. He won. And then he went to jail and he died the day after he got out of jail. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Then uh, <clears throat> um, Nipsey Hussle was going to do a documentary on him. And before he could finish the documentary, he was also killed. So how come they just don't put out the video that they did have about him? Because people don't want to die. <laughs> Would you pick the documentary up that he was making and finish it after they killed him? Yes, I Nipsey would. Hussle was Nipsey Gotta Hussle be. was super popular. Like if, well, if people actually saw that and it went fucking worldwide, there you go. Pharmacy, <clears throat> pharma, pharmaceutical industry is down the shitter. There's that is that that is one theory. The other theory is, and it happens to a lot of rappers, is that one of his or he posted accidentally posted his whereabouts, and somebody came and robbed him and shot him because he was i don't know if you know buddy. i don't know if you know but he was part of a gang right yeah it was his buddy that killed him. money makes you do funny things tupac and biggie were killed because they were fucking changing their their culture well tupac was killed because he was changing his culture biggie was killed to cover up tupac's murder i still we have an episode episode 11 go watch it. i still think puffy had something to do with biggie oh for sure puffy's in their much. little group so probably oh, really? Snoop was Snoop 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 was on a plane with Tupac asking if he's going to Vegas and shit before he went. Like Snoop Dogg's an informant for the FBI, one hundred percent. And people praise him like he's some fucking he's a snitch. Yeah. Suge Knight even snitch. said he was a snitch. For sure. They they had his back when he was in that trial. Yeah, he he never went, goes to jail. And then he shit on all the people that had his back right afterwards. Yeah. Snoop's the biggest snitch of Oh, rat of them all, I think. <clears throat> he looks like a rat too. He does kind of. He does kind of. He does. But they all and they pushed forward all the the people that sell out everybody, and he became even bigger than every everybody else. Soon after, uh, everybody else died. Snoop's everywhere. He was just at WrestleMania. He, Walmart sells his clothing line. <clears throat> 
Don't they don't they get a new drink too, Snoop and Dre? Mm. A new poison to give people and put in their systems. I don't know. Probably. Guys everywhere. All right. One more from this guy, but he's not talking about uh, food and shit anymore. I promise. He's not talking about fasting. <clears throat> Let's talk about life after death. The word death literally stands for door to the ether. And that's because death is not the end, it is the beginning. People often ask me what happens when we die, but what makes you think that you are actually that which dies? We have a body, mind, and soul. We are both matter and spirit. The material part of us is seen and is temporal, but the spiritual part of us is unseen and is eternal. We are the soul, not the body. We are the soul energy that exists beyond the body. We are not the person that we see in the mirror. That is just the vessel for the entity that is you. We are entities that are energies. That's exactly why I say the body is electrical. Your body needs angstroms. Your soul powers your body. We can tune into higher frequencies by doing good work like being nice to people. By serving the virtues. This is a way of balancing out the wrong you have done by spending the rest of your life spreading love and light. Gain as much karmic points as you can. This will allow you to access heaven or a blissful consciousness, which is a perception that is filled with grace. We do not want to die with anger, fear, hatred, jealousy, or sadness in our hearts because this will weigh us down. And this will keep us stuck in the reincarnation cycle here on earth. When people say YOLO, you only live once, they are wrong because we have infinite lives. It's literally up to you if you want to graduate from Earth. If you want to ascend to the next place, you need to be virtuous. You need to become angelic. If you're allowing the vices to dictate your every action, you are becoming demonic. Oh, no. There is no demons running around willfully making you do things. It is your own choice. You are the choices between your actions. And that is why karma is real. Karmic retribution is real. People love to say, that, oh, the devil made me do it. Stop externalizing your problems. Be accountable. And you keep on praying to this big man in the sky to save you. You're externalizing all of your power. Once you claim what is yours, the Christ is within. It is not something that exists outside of you. Both God and man have a twofold constitution of which the superior part is invisible and the inferior is visible. Well, first, I'd like to say thank you for sharing your notebook with us. It was very kind. Actually, I have that book. It's fucking, it's like hundreds of pages. <clears throat> Whose is it? Where did uh, it come called from? The, it's called the Hearth Book. <clears throat> and it comes handwritten like that? That's a lot of writing. Yeah. David actually has it. I was going to say, I do have it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what he's saying is heaven and hell are... It's what you exist in right now depending on your beliefs you know what i mean heaven's not a place you go to it's something a state you, of being something hell you is a place you go to yeah 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 you manifest your reality yeah it's where it's it's your frequency is how you feel 100 percent. you see you see it in everyday life if someone's walking around and they're like this place sucks i hate i hate it here like you're you're miserable yeah you know and you just you're creating your own existence when you're happy and you want to help people you definitely feel a lot better nobody gets into a fight or an argument and yells and then leaves and says i feel better yeah they're like man that, that really kind of you're at a lower vibration frequency yep. i don't know man i sent him i've uh, I've, uh you... I've definitely been in a fist fight and felt great afterwards that's just your adrenaline oh you know what I'm saying, though. Yeah, I do. So, You're not happy about yeah. it after, I don't think. You don't know. I mean, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, man. <laughs> well, well, this, when your emotions are dictating the situation and you allow yourself to get angry, especially with like people you care about, like you leave that situation not feeling any better about it. Right. You feel actually down and out. You know, and If you continuously like are acting like that, you know, you you. I know we've all seen people we all care about. Like you can see them lower, and they just get worse yep. and worse and worse, and they don't get better. You know, the poor me's. Ah, oh, this is 
the, the world's against me. You know, I, now it is. And, and you know, yeah, because you you manifested that. If if you've had bad things happen to you, and then you're just you know, well, I'm just gonna stick it out, and I'm gonna make things better. You know, and uh, you have a positive attitude. No matter what happens, you're you're gonna work your way out of it. You know. <clears throat> yeah, I mean. I, I say for most people that's true, but there are those circumstances where, you know, no matter what you think, so, you know, like I'm I'm pretty sure people didn't manifest getting raped by their uncle and things like that, you know, but, as children. But they they were also born into this world where they don't know that they can create the reality, and their mindset is is it's never going to get better, and then it won't get better. That, but that is true, what Dan said. It, it, but you could also see where some women. Or people in general will allow that to completely devastate their lives forever, and then you have other people that turn it around and they'll create, you know, uh, environments that help uplift other people that've been through uh, situations just like they have, and they overcome. Yeah. And actually, they turn that situation and it actually makes them even stronger. Well, yeah. I'd like to take this time while Joe's away to another word from I our sponsors. Uh, today we're brought to you by Kodak. Go out and get one of your disposable Kodak camera. Oh um, these things are great. You take pictures of things you haven't Why seen you? in a while. Um, you Is wind that, it up like uh, old school. You send it in. They'll mail you back your photos. Good times. Thank you, Kodak, for sponsoring we're our not show. Sponsored by, we're not sponsored by Kodak. I, I, Bro, how'd you even get that thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On eBay? I agree with that, though. I, I get that people aren't asking to be assaulted and shit like that. Yeah. And I, I totally understand that. But also, this world is to keep us on a low vibration. Everything they do to us, everything they hide from us, <sighs> everything that they feed us, everything that they... Everything is to keep us in a low vibration. So if you're in a low vibration, bad shit happens to you, is what I'm saying. My life is fantastic now. <clears throat> it used to suck. I used to think I had the worst luck ever. Now I think I have amazing luck. Because luck is what you make it. Luck is what you bring to your own life, I believe, anyway. But, you know, I, I, get, I get what you mean. Yeah, absolutely. A good positive attitude. That's what we all need. <laughs> we all could agree with that. I actually think this show kind of lowers my frequency because <clears throat> of the horrible shit. We, like, last week we talked about chomos and shit. Like, that's not a good thing to talk about. You know what I mean? But we are spreading awareness. Hopefully, right. people are looking at it and being like, oh, well, fuck Hollywood. I'm not going to give them my money anymore. And hopefully, the whole thing collapses. But, you know. Tell you what, that piss is looking better and better every <laughs> time you do it. <laughs> oh, by the end of the show, I'm going to have you. I'm going to piss for you. I'll send you my piss, too. How's that sound? I don't think it works like that. That guy didn't <laughs> no. say that. <laughs> I think you're saying like your your body gives you your piss gives you what you're missing from your body. Oh, don't <laughs> don't drink other people's piss. He didn't put that. He should I mean, he should specifically say that. I've <laughs> I've researched it though, and I'm listening. Would you, people would do you find? there there is a there's a full fucking interview where the guy's like talking about drinking other people's the piss? benefits. No, his his own. Here's a guy talking about something other than piss. <laughs> this guy's awesome too. Go follow his channel. Is it's cultivate, elevate, and masturbate? He's a fucking smart guy. Cultivate, smart elevate, guy. masturbate. Yeah, I've seen it. Don't masturbate. Keep your semen in and vibrate higher, like we were just saying. Cultivate. When you when you when you shoot your semen out, you're just lowering your vibration, especially if you're. <laughs> especially if you're. <laughs> it's cold. Um, Cultivate, elevate, elevate, vibrate. No, it's just cultivate, elevate. And vibrate, masturbate. Anyway, keep your seat in, you guys. Come on. You're fucking embarrassing Can me. Can the girls keep their seat in? I mean, uh, so ladies, keep your seat I in, think, ladies. I, I think it... Seed, <laughs> but I think it's... I think it's... I think they do have... So the in the Tao, he talks about when women are coming too much... Also, that they, that their periods are harsher, and the harsher your period is, the less the less uh, brain function you're having because you're. It's all connected. All of it. Ladies, comment below. 
let us know. Do you come real hard and have bad periods, or do you tighten it up and not bleed so much? Just doing also, a little, just doing a little research, ladies. Let us know. <clears throat> the porn industry, those girls, yeah, they give interviews. They don't seem very happy. You know, I don't know. They seem happy to me. Also, <laughs> you can have an orgasm and not actually not during ejaculate. the video. I'm talking after. I thought you didn't watch porn. You use porn to masturbate? <laughs> I just go through the Rolodex in my head. Yeah, the memory bank. Mm. The spank bank. The spank bank. <laughs> um, yeah, you can you can have an orgasm without ejaculating. 100%. Just FYI, guys. Do better. Here's a guy. Why did they destroy all the bells after World War II? Because if you sit in a bell and someone hits it and it begins to resonate, you can begin to heal like that because sound frequency instantaneously heals the body similar to chanting if you um, any sound effect will begin to instantly structure all the body at the same time that's what used to happen in the cathedrals they would ring the bells or they would play the pipe organs and all of the cells in the body would instantaneously become structured which would instantly heal them but they had to get rid of the pipe organs, which are made from lead, which is interesting. And they had to get rid of the bells because both of those can heal people. Now imagine if a bell of the size of the massive bells we were, we were shown was ringing in a cathedral, okay? Now imagine the frequency that would come out of the cathedral into the town. You could heal the entire town instantaneously just by, just by ringing the bell in the cathedral. That's why they had to get rid of them. They had to break all those bells. All the bells you ever look up. Just type in like bell in whatever country or city you're in and notice how all the bells have a crack in them and they're broken. I wonder why that is. And people would say, oh, it's a conspiracy and it's just made up. No, no, there's intention. There's intention to get rid of these things so that we're dependent on a sick care system. You can look up multiple videos with babies crying and someone will go up to them with a bell, hit the bell, and the baby will stop crying. I'll play one right here. If you want to unlock the secrets of the universe, think in terms of frequency, energy, and vibrations. Okay, we're back. You saw the baby cry. Wow, that's... <laughs> Sold. But it's, it's, it's true. During World War II, they, they destroyed over 9,000 bells. And did you ever notice how there's not really bells anywhere anymore? Unless you have like a little ringy one that's not going to do anything for you. Hey, Vince, New York, they ring those bells all fucking day, every hour. That's good. Are they real bells or are they just recordings? Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure they're bells. They're. They... I rem- I was there. I remember. Every every but... hour. That's good, but they got rid of nine thousand and said that they were, for weaponry and shit when that's not the case they literally just fucking destroyed all the bells weird yeah i believe there's something to that though but why um sorry dave go ahead no no it's your show i'm just a guest no that's why you should go yeah well thank you i was just gonna say that they've actually discovered uh ancient caves that uh they use for spiritual enlightenment and when they do the um Um. Yeah, the frequency levels are perfect <clears throat> yep. uh, for healing, and uh, it's pretty interesting. At the fruit festival, we did a uh, they did a sweat lodge, and in there we would uh, mm. everybody in there would go hum, and it's fucking like it it. Dude, when you're it's, with there's a group of people it. like that, yeah, that your bodies are just like they link up. You can actually feel yeah. that type of uh, energy. It actually runs through your body. You really can. It sounds it sounds crazy, but uh, they make everything like when sound you crazy. Pray, you have you know pre- people that pray in churches together. They say everybody let's pray. If you, they've actually done researches where people have prayed in different continents, and uh, there's been studies that show that they actually were effective. I did a uh, there was a mass meditation during the eclipse. And I meditated during the eclipse, and it was a fun, I mean, it was a great meditation. I don't know. I have a lot of good, good meditations, but, like, apparently when you meditate together, too, it's more 
powerful because there's people all over doing the same thing at the same time. I'm all about the ancients. The yeah. ancient the people before us, I feel like they actually had had it right more than anything. The, the people that they tell us were uneducated, knew nothing. I feel like they're uh they're at a golden age, you know. And then the dark ages came in then they purposely created that to bring us down and we're still we're I think trying we're to in fight the dark our way ages. back up and they do everything they can to yep. to keep us down there. You know, that they were in sync with the world around them. That's why you get the pyramids and uh, couple couple things. Uh, one, the sound fre- back to sound frequency. Uh, you think having like a, a nice system in your car would uh, would um, kind of channel those vibes, right? Having like subwoofers and putting on frequencies. <clears throat> Secondly, uh, I think you're right about the times we're in. Uh, Freemasons definitely had a huge part with building a lot of our our government uh, buildings and things like that. Now. So there could be some huge takeover by them, um, putting us in the in the place we're in now. So uh, the music nowadays is also at 440 hertz, which is the worst frequency that you can put sound at. Apparently, it's bad for you, and that's what all music is tuned to these days. Yeah, but like I said, if you play this the those specific frequencies in your car, you know, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. Music talks to your soul. We all could agree with that. You could put on the right song and you get going. You know? Dude, I put it's, on the right song. I just nut instantly. It's crazy. Yeah. You guys don't do I've that? I've never done that. But Bro, you got to try it. I'll, what song is I'll, that? I'll, I'll, what I'll, song I'll, is that? I'll, He's interested. I'm interested. <laughs> I'll, I'll send it but, to you. But yeah, Bone Thugs and Harmony, just for an example, uh, <clears> they go into how where, this is all frequencies and just music in general how they use music to manipulate people into doing negative things. Because if you look into the hip-hop culture, they actually wanted that. Bone Thugs and Harmony, they were like, uh, there's a group uh, of men that they're like, hey, if you do this type of music, you know, we'll pay you X amount of dollars. This is what we need from you. Bone Thugs and Harmony said that they walked away from that meeting, and they're like, we're not doing it. And there's a bunch of other people that said yes, and if we look at our culture today, people, what are, look at it. You got these kids in the street killing each other. They don't care about their lives. And, like, it's getting a, a hell of a lot worse. But that's strategic by the elitists. They want that. I remember you telling me about Bone Thugs and Harmony after you watched our rap episode with the meeting and shit. Yeah. He watches our show. Go watch episode 11. That's how he got on the show, guys. He watched our show, and now he's part of it. We mentioned that earlier. <clears throat> I appreciate you guys having me. But, but Bone Thugs and Harmony, yeah. if you want, you know, evidence, they actually said it. Like this is what they they told us their plan, you know, and you know it was it was to get more people incarcerated yep. and locked up. They, that's literally what they said in their interview. And look at it, prisons are filled <laughs> to the max, to the gills, but, one might say, to the gills. But, but what I'm saying is music. Uh, you know, the frequencies, whatever, it talks to the human spirit, and it's proven time and time again yeah. to the soul. That's why you should listen to soul music. We shouldn't? Why not? We should. Oh. You should. Erica Badu, baby. No? Okay. I'm, I'm, I don't want to know. I couldn't tell you That's the like song the... by her, but I've heard of her. She's a real one. Hey, let's talk about giants. <laughs> giants. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do a whole episode on giants. This is just a teaser. That guy's just a midget. <clears throat> <laughs> Three foot nothing. They're always hiding all the giant people. All the giant people. You get, you get into all the giants and 18 foot people, 20 foot people, 50 foot people. They're always going in, taking all the bones and shipping them to the Smithsonian Institute. But then you start to sit there and think, why are you hiding that? Why are you not showing that there were 20 foot, 40 foot, 50 foot people, even 100 foot? You think of the big doors, you know, think of doorways that are like 200 feet tall. You got big people. And why would the Smithsonian Institute be hiding this? Shouldn't we be talking about our history and who was here and what was around and the connection to the big people? 
or the giants. And then somebody just commented, giant trees would produce a lot of oxygen that would support larger life forms too. Yes, the sequoia trees are absolutely enormous. Where did they come from? Think of the energy that's being produced by those sequoia trees. They're working like antennas. And you go back in time too, and you start looking at all these I books before the episode. 1920s, and you see they're always cutting the down the big it, trees. The Mountains <laughs> that look like trees look Excuse like they've been cut down. That's disgusting. What do you think about giants and uh, <clears throat> trees being mountains? Um, mountains being trees, I mean. Go back to the ancient texts. They tell you that they're real. You know, the pyramids. Yes, sir. There's pictures of them. They're, you know, that's. They literally have a. Not in Egypt, but somewhere in the Middle East, uh, they have a, a man literally holding a lion, like a like a little kitty cat, you know, and, and then you even go to modern times, they actually have, you know, in the early 1900s or the 1800s, there's newspaper articles that. They talk about finding them uh, in caves, their bones. And Native Americans also had, you know, uh, said that they were real. There's actually a story about them over out your way. Uh, they said that they hunted these giants down because they got sick of uh, their people getting murdered uh, by these giants. So all these tribes got together, chased them down. Uh, they ran into a cave. They set the cave on fire, and it was all make-believe until hundreds of years later when they dug the cave out for guano and then they found all these relics giant shoes giant bones so it actually yeah it's actually written and then they sent the bones to the smithsonian and they're never that all the artifacts are all, all now are all missing yeah i, I didn't but, see those bones there Yo, they they do that a fucking lot. There's a guy that actually goes all over the country to giant bone sites and like, we're we're gonna do a whole episode on giants because they existed. Dinosaurs didn't. Whatever is, I I think like I said before, the the ancients and the people before us, you know, I believe a lot of what they say, and I second guess everything and everything. Uh, what we're told today, you're smart. I, I strongly, you know, I, I strongly look into anything that people before us told us, not the people today though. Yeah, like go drink your piss. If I saw the ancients say that they were drinking their own piss, they did. I definitely be looking. They into did. It. It's called um. <sighs> there's a name for it. The ancient, the ancients also told us that the world was round. So, uh, they actually said it was flat. They did not say it was round. They but said the opposite of that. No, they said it was They're, round. No, they didn't. They said they absolutely did not. Fifteen hundred years. <clears throat> Here's a list of all of the old ancient civilizations and what they pictured the Earth. It's all flat with a dome over it, except for NASA's ball right here. That's not true. Oh, what was, it, true. Ar- was it Aristotle that figured out the world was round? Who was it? Eratosthenes, who did Sticks and Shadows that I debunked last time we did the Flat Earth episode. The yeah. Earth is not round. Prove it. Prove it. I shouldn't have to, <clears throat> I shouldn't have to prove Flat Earth because I'm not making a positive statement. They're making a positive statement telling me that the Earth is a spinning ball when every sense that I have in my body tells me that we're on a flat level stationary plane it might not be flat but it sure as hell in a ball spinning in outer space let's not get into flat earth there are a lot of uh dave what do you think about flat earth i definitely am open to it i'm open to it being what they say it is too a sphere i'm like if i don't see it i'm not gonna Say I know for a fact what it is. I'm just open to both sides. So pretend nobody told you it was flat or round, and you went outside. What uh, would you think the Earth was? Would you think it? Would you lean more towards ball, or that we're level and stationary? We're not moving. I don't all? believe in anything NASA says, so I would lean towards the flat Earth. You know, but I'm open to anything and everything. What do <clears> I know? So when when you look out up into the sky, right? What do you what, what do you see? The sun. What shape is the sun? 
It's a circle. Okay. What's, what shape is the moon? A circle. What shape are the stars that you see? Uh, they're flickering bulbs of water. What, what shape? Do you think they're like... They're not all round. Do you think, do you think they're you, straight lines? Or, on. But are they more hey, circular or do you think up. they're flat lines? In the Look sky. up at the light bulb in your ceiling. Now, what shape is your floor? That's basically what you're. That's the argument you're I'm, using. I'm, right u- I'm using uh, the argument that if we look up and see into the sky, right, and see that, that most things are round, the thing that we're probably on also is most likely round. No, that may, that <clears> doesn't <throat> correlate at all. If you believe there's an outer space, yeah, yeah I do. Well, well, I have Prove it. There's Prove eight, that there isn't one. one. Show, Show me one video that NASA, I have the same exact proofs you do. Show no, because I can use I can use math and common sense. You can't use math and show me there's an outer space. Because I don't, I'm not a math math a t- mathematician who's studied no, it. No, because if you're you re- dude, you're Earth's, literally repeating what other people tell you is true. No, 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 no. Yes, use the the same thing the I'm globe. doing. I'm using no, the, I'm not. Yes, use use the globe's math. You have the globe's math. The globe. You're NASA. Your government that you trust so much tells you that the Earth is 24,800 miles in circumference, pitch. okay? You're literally so repeating what every other flat earther repeats. No, no, no. And I'm telling you a globe math website that you can look up curvature that a globe website puts out. You can look up how far you're supposed to see based on the globe's curvature. And you can see way too fucking far. That's math. It okay. has nothing to do with another flat earther saying jack shit. Okay. Agree to disagree. I told you we shouldn't talk about it because you make no sense. None of your arguments hold up. You're telling me that I'm telling you what a flare that said. No, I'm telling you what an actual calculator that NASA tells us how far the curve is. NASA's a fucking bunch of liars, and you already know NASA lies, so I don't know why you believe them on this. It doesn't make any sense. I'm just going with uh, what feels NASA. right to me. Go outside and tell me we're spinning, and tell me that <clears throat> feels right that we're spinning. You can't. Nobody can. It makes sense to me. Well, let me be the middle guy here. We're just... Do we all know everything's a fact? No. I know that I know that everything NASA tells us is a big, fat fucking lie. So why would we, be, why would we believe anything they say? They, got a, they literally got a blank check. You know, where the people $63 million dollars a day NASA gets. What are they using it for? I to fucking use what? green screen and shit that I've already fucking proven that they do? We definitely agree that they're sketchy. To give us CGI pictures of the Earth when they tell us that the Earth is a fucking, uh, Photo- fucking pear shape. Photoshop. They give us perfectly circle balls. Photoshop is expensive to run, bro. It costs a lot of money. NASA has lied about everything. They're the ones that give us all the Earth's math and fucking everything about the Earth being a ball is from NASA and the government. And I don't get how you believe it. I get that you don't want people to think you're a flat earther because that's a hard fucking thing to go to. No, I don't. But I, I don't give a fuck what people think of me, honestly. But that is my honest belief. And until somebody can actually prove otherwise, dude, you can prove it with how far you can see. That's not a flat earther telling you this on the internet. It's literally NASA tells you the Earth is twenty four thousand eight hundred miles in circumference. If you're six foot tall standing on a beach. You lose a boat at three miles. The boat starts going down, and you lose it from the bottom up. You can zoom in way past three miles. You could see the skyline, which I showed you. I've literally seen videos proving the opposite. You haven't been able to send me these videos. Bro. And and, and you can't prove the opposite because the math is the math. It's not a flat earther's math. The math is the math. So if you could see the Chicago skyline from 60 miles from Michigan... There's no video that you can tell me that's going to debunk it, someone going over the curve, because a zoom lens doesn't curve over anything. It's not possible. Okay. Not possible at all. There's a lot of pilots that do say that the Earth is flat. The North Star doesn't move. It stays fixed in the sky. If we're whirling and twirling and spinning all these different directions, how come the North Star stays fucking fixed? Does the Milky Way spin too? Isn't that huh? our sol- isn't that our solar system? Aren't we yes, within the Milky Way? Doesn't it also spin? Yes, but it spins in different directions. Dude, we we spin in four different directions. Our, and our the North Star our stays whole fixed. solar system is constantly spinning, right? And the Earth is spinning within that solar system. So if the, the Earth is spinning and orbiting and chasing the sun, and then the Milky Way is going in another direction, 
We're going four no, different it's going directions. In the same and the direction. North Star has no, it's going in a different direction. They're all going in different directions, is what I'm saying. All of our four different motions are going in different directions. So, how is the North Star fixed and has been fixed for all of eternity? The Georgia Guidestones had a hole in the stones where you could look through the hole and the North Star will, was always there. Here is off the flat earth thing, even though it's a flat earth and saying it, talking about more history that's been bullshitted by the government you trust so much. Every major city in North America was destroyed by fire between 1850 and the early 1900s. Every city in America was torched. So we don't really know what was here anymore. They left a few museums or whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, no, look at the great, look, whoever's watching, Look at your big city, wherever you are. Atlanta, New York, Chicago, doesn't matter where. Type in the great fire of, and then type in your city. You're gonna see that at some point between 1850 and 19, call it 1930, your city was completely devoured. That was in this country. So everybody go do that right now. And you'll see that our entire history has been wiped out and reset. Well, that's what they do. They wipe out history by burning things. The Library of Alexandria, they had all the history of, you know, the ancients and whatnot. They destroyed that by burning that library. That's what they do. They destroy everything so they can make up our past for us. I, I, Joe, do you eat, have you have you ever had a library? What do they taste like? Don't be a dick. Oh come on! <laughs> I got that. <laughs> Library. Thank you, David. When Thank say, you. When I say library. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Took a second. Like, we're talking about fruit, man. I'm hungry. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Right, I have I have one video and I wasn't gonna play it, but you got me started on shit, so here you go. <laughs> oh, here we Here's go. NASA. SpaceX. Flames don't cast shadows, but it seems that the graphics department at SpaceX did not know. How's that flame causing a shadow? Because it's fucking CGI. Why are you faking rockets going off into space? Because you can't go to space. That's all. They do say, uh, that, you know, a lot of, uh, 90% of the Wi Fi isn't actually. 98% is underground cables. Yeah, it's cables. And that's actually a, a big reason why they, they prove that, uh, what do you call it there? The landmasses are, aren't what they say they are because they won't stretch the lines. You would know better than me. So when they took our earth and they wrapped it around a ball, all the land masses stretched out. So none of our, none of the, not none, but most of the countries below the equator are much larger than they're telling us because they stretched them out over the ball. And the cables prove it because the cables aren't going as far as they're telling us. Basically is what he's trying to say. Because so I mean, of flat earth, yeah, things are a lot closer together. Makes sense. So 90% of the, the Wi-Fi you're getting is cables that run underneath the, you know, the water. In the ocean and yeah. shit. So. <laughs> okay. I love you, D. I know. So well, they're not satellites. I love you too, much. bro. The whole reason why we they say that we have Wi-Fi is from satellites. That's why we have them. They're up there, but that's not they're. You never seen a picture. Ninety percent of it's from cables. Yeah, like that's fishy in itself. <clears throat> that's why satellites fall. Have you ever from seen the sky with a test of balloons? Have you ever anybody there... use seen anybody use Starlink? I've never even heard of. It. Okay, so that stupid Elon Musk bullshit. Right, you can get um, internet. Way out in in remote places via satellite. And you actually have to put a satellite. You have to have one. That 10%. And use it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's the exception. 
But did you? Also, I haven't looked into Starlight enough to Starlink. Even talk to you about it. Just because we're talking Whatever. about flat Earth, it, uh, just going back, they just shot a Tesla shot a, a missile. Or what is the name of there? Who runs Tesla? Elon. Elon. Elon Musk. Elon they shot a a rocket up there, and it literally hits something and it blows apart. Have you seen that video? Yeah, like it, it does. They say it blows up, but it literally looks extremely uh. Really fishy. You ever notice how when they sh shoot bombs up, they fucking mushroom down like they hit something? Yes. Oh, there he is. He's snacking away. That sounds like cookies or something. <laughs> what do you got there? Oreo cookies or something like that. <laughs> what are you doing? I want to see. He's got milk and cookies over here. He's dipping his fucking cookies in. Are you going to show us? Or yeah, I'm worried. Give us a suspense. Uh, oh, it's a cheeseburger. She just went to in and out for him. Is that a cheeseburger? It looks like a sub. It's a sub. Oh. Uh, <laughs> meat, bread, same thing. Mm-hmm. Disgusting. Some lettuce on there. Meat, meat, bread, cheese, lettuce, same thing. A sub, like a cheeseburger, same thing. Just depends on what animal you fucking cook, you killed and cooked up. That's all. Looks like a turkey. And maybe some ham. I don't know. Just showed up. Look, Just look showed delicious. Up. Take another bite. Let's see what you got. That's all I got. Are you going to tell us about guns there, D? Or is that going to... Wh when's that episode coming? Oh. It keeps getting pushed back, huh? Another week or so, probably, yeah. You know. All right. It's, I got all the shit. Those? I just got to put together a storyboard. Okay. That way I can have it in order. He's going to do a gun episode. We're going to take him away from you soon enough. Shit. Come and take it. I got a lot of freedom seeds I'm willing to dispense. Freedom seeds? <laughs> they already know you got what you got. You registered. Yeah, no shit. So. Okay, that doesn't stop me from sharing. Using it. <laughs> sharing? <clears throat> so if people actually really had that mindset and we were really willing to do something... Like everybody talks like that, I think that's the only thing way things are actually really gonna change. Cause, you know, all we do is talk about things. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when we just talk, when they do something to us, like the government, the Illuminati, the one percent, when they stage attacks on the American people, and then all we do is point it out. You know, they're gonna do whatever they want because they're gonna be like. All they do is talk about it. Right. If people ha really had that mindset, like fuck around and find out, mm -hmm. you know, if people actually came together, you know, we'd have some really, uh, really good chance of changing things. Why do you think they're feminizing all the men? It's gonna take. It's gonna take a, a fucked up act for the the civilians of this country to come together like that. So. That's the only time. That's, that's why, the only way things will ever change. That's why they tiptoe around us. Come together. Oh, for sure. They keep life just comfortable enough. There's so people can get by. I'm not going to start spewing facts, but there's. I'll, I'll give you one. There's more guns in this country than there are Americans. So there's more AR-15s in this country than there are Americans. So come and take them. Also, uh, they stopped doing their false flags where they actually kill people. Now they just ram shit in a bridge bridges destroy the bridges and then cut off tons of fucking supplies and right they just destroy the infrastructure to the instead of killing people a lot of well, the people just don't believe it's possible that our own government would do such a thing which and, makes zero sense to me <clears throat> well i don't i think the government would do it but i don't think the people that would want to enforce that would actually do it i think yes you're going to get some outliers who are you know, crazy enough to kill their own citizens, but I don't think a majority think, of people would. Well, I they, think most gonna, of the government 
is all down for it. You think you don't get put? You don't get put in those positions. Same with Hollywood. You don't get huge acting roles constantly unless you're in a position where they've literally bought you. Hollywood's run by the government. It's yeah, propaganda. See, yeah, yeah but yeah, but strategic. I'm saying the government, you don't get put in positions <laughs> of power unless you're bought. For sure. I'm talking about they would they would have to use the military, and I don't think average a military military men and women would actually kill citizens because they want to take our guns and or make us uh-huh. go places. I just don't. I think a lot of them are smart enough to be. Uh, well, look at well, just just for an example, look at the cops versus the citizens right now. There's a big gap right there. You know, they're. Well, the cops are eventually going to side with the government and say, fuck it, these guys are fucking animals. They're out of control. Uh, they're going to manipulate people into getting them uh, to do what they want them to do. I don't know, man. I've done it before. I still believe in mankind. I still think hum- most humans I are good so. people. I think we all agree with that. So you think, you don't think, of, uh, uh, listen, I'm pro-military. I, I think this country is fucked, and the reason why I actually in, in support of the flag is because of the people in the military. But they go overseas and they will kill children. You don't think they'll come here and do the same for their government? Uh, no, I don't. I think those they're looked at as enemies, especially ac- across the border. Okay. Well, I think uh, history shows different. The people that we're different people from these people that actually uh, are psychopaths. Like we're not nuts like these people. They have. <laughs> trillions billions trillions of dollars and money talks so they literally i know you guys had a whole show about nazi germany but nazi germany they literally had uh what was it the rock who was it the the rockefellers who rockefellers who was but they were so rich son of a bitch is funding both sides. Oh, of yeah, Rockefellers, Ross, yeah, it's all yeah, Rothschilds. Yeah. They're, yeah. Rothschilds. They're, the Rothschilds. They're, bu- they're literally funding both sides of the war, getting people to manipulate. <laughs> uh, bless you. Bless you. Ah, thank you. But the people in power, they have the, the Rockefellers, those type of people, like, they have money behind them to change people's lives, so they easily <laughs> can manipulate people. Ah. And then false flag attacks, all that shit. That's what they do with all those um, propaganda buildings, indoctrination buildings. They're false flags. They don't actually kill anybody. They just fucking put it out in the fucking news so they can take your guns away. Well, I definitely feel like some of those definitely are, are actually real. They stopped, they stopped killing them after Columbine parents were so up in arms. Oh, I bet. Now they're all, most of them are staged. All right, let's not get too into guns, man. Let's not get too into it. Save it for an All right. episode. All right. All well, right. We definitely got going after our guns. That's for damn sure. <laughs> they, <don't stop. laughs> they make all this shit sound stupid, too, in, in oh, TV and crazy. movies. And... They, these crazy... Well, we'll leave it for your episode. You going to join us on that one? Uh, I don't know. A few <laughs> out of my elements. Out of my elements. I actually got an I got an argument again. I won't say who. I got in another argument with someone about the Buffalo Food Mart episode that happened. Oh, yeah. And your brother, before I even said anything to him about that one, your brother literally was like, "Yeah, I knew somebody that was there, and the funeral was crazy. Like, there, <clears throat> you could tell there was like FBI agents and shit there. It was like a closed casket, and I found out she was adopted." Like, it was just the weirdest thing I've ever been to. And this is before I told him I watched the entire video and there's literally no one actually getting bang banged. So, anyway. That's for another episode. I might not even keep that in. I might cut it. Hey, Dave, where can we find you? At work. <laughs> That's where you can find me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, you got them slave feet, boy. Yeah, better believe it. I get to track slave my feet, steps. Right. <laughs> You're right, slave feet. Thirty thousand steps a day. Yeah, bro, I hear you. You got me running around. Same. We all got to escape <clears> that <throat> modern day slavery. I do about thirty thousand or twelve miles 
13 miles a night, almost. Yeah. Yeah, I don't count my steps because I don't care enough about my job, so. All right. <laughs> Cut that, because they might watch this. Why? <laughs> well, fuck, they know I don't give a shit about that place. They need me more than I need them. That is true. Not a lot of people out there working these days. I'm just, damn I'm just another That's number. I'm working so hard. Nobody else wants to work. I gotta work. I have to do four to five jobs. Yeah. You know, because you know, there's not enough people working. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. I do two or three every single night, and it's crazy. So you don't have a handle? Huh? A that you want to give to everybody? No. Like Doc Chap at 18? No. No. <laughs> don't no. Fuck. He doesn't want you to follow him. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I love your guys' show, though. Thanks, man. Hey, follow me here. We Gatsby <laughs> Podcast. Right here. <laughs> David, well, we appreciate your support. It was very nice meeting you. Um, nice meeting you. I hope, I hope you join Joe for another episode sometime. and uh, We'll do a more uh, <clears throat> focused one next time. Nah, I like this. I like this. I mean, yes, let's do it more focused. Just but the I, random videos? Yeah, dude. It's, it's fun for me. It's interesting. I know it took me a while to wake up. I literally was sleeping when we were supposed to start. So, this was a huge event. You weren't even on time. So, I'm sorry, How David. I'll try, to, I'll try to be better. I traveled all the way across the sea to get over here. <laughs> the sea. <laughs> and by sea, China. by sea, he means city. <laughs> China. Well, uh, I appreciate you guys having town. me on here. All right, show, all right, David. Uh, well, Godspeed, Joseph. Godspeed. Godspeed, brother. Did he say Godspeed? Love you guys. Godspeed. Godspeed. Love you too, brother. Later. Have a good night. Bye. You've reached the offices of the Godspeed podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information and someone will return your call within 24 business days. Thank you. Hey, Joe. It's Dan. Dan eats everything. You know what I don't eat or drink, for that matter? It's piss. So I don't know why you got my picture on this goddamn thumbnail looking like I'm gargling piss. You son of a bitch. What the hell is wrong with you? Nasty.